the real key to understanding the factoring of perfect square trinomials is to remember that factoring is the opposite of distributing. What we're doing here is trying to find what binomial, say for instance uh, y minus 3, or plus 3 we'll say, what binomial squared was the result or resulted in each of these trinomials. So some binomial times itself, after we foiled it all out, became each of these trinomials. And what we're looking for is what that binomial is. Now, in the long run, you're going to discover that that binomial is generally the square root of the first term and the square root of the last term. And then we just take a look at the sign of the middle term to see whether there's a plus in between them or a minus in between them. If the middle term is positive, there'll be a plus, and if the middle term is negative, there'll be a minus. So let's just take a look at this first one with that knowledge in our head. The square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 16 is 4, and this middle term is positive. So this should then be x plus 4 squared. Now we can check that and see if that's actually correct by mul multiplying that out. x plus 4 squared would be x plus 4 times x plus 4. So we'd have x times x, that's our x squared. We'd have x plus, or times positive 4, that's 4x. Positive 4 times x is another 4x, so there's our 8x. And then positive 4 times positive 4 is positive 16. So yeah, that works. And then this is the factored form of this distributed trinomial. Let's take a look at the next one. Square root of x squared would be x. Square root of 4 would be 2. But now our middle term is negative. So it's not going to work to have another positive in here, or everything will come out positive like it did the first time. So this time we'll put a negative in between them, and then say we're squaring it. And we can test that real quick. x minus 2 times x minus 2. Well, that'd be x squared minus 2x minus another, I'm sorry, minus another 2x. There's minus 4x. And then negative 2 times negative 2 is our positive 4. So yep, that one works too. And then the last one, we'd have x and 7, and everything's positive, so we'd have x plus 7 quantity squared.